Any other minion winning the roll would have been game over. Oh no, God! Oh my God! Hey, buddy, watch this. Okay, wailing vapor. Uh, that is not a hand. I, you know, dunk tanks are definitely important for this deck. There's no denying that. Like they're they're very vital damage output cards but i gotta say they sure feel bad when you draw them early i feel like i would rather have any other card in the deck almost you know i love getting them off dungeoneers and things that's fine when they're you know relevant later in the game but it just it just sits in hand stranded i mean i guess that's true for most of the damage cards but i do feel like lightning bolts flexibility and serpent shrine portals minion output both make those feel more Welcome. Oh boy, another dunk tank. Oh joy. <laughs> All right, this helps get the elemental chain rolling perhaps, but I, I'd hate to have to tote him alongside it. So hopefully we hit something off of it or a card to support it. That might be a uh, bulwark of Azanoth, which the moment we'd be pretty good at, at handling. There's no shelter from my fury. I don't know if that would, oh my God. If they just equip Bulwark here and don't go like Coin Brawl or something, I mean, that'd be nice. I don't even know if a Coin Brawl would be that bad. This is, you know, a lot of minions, but they're not like super high value or anything. Looks like uh, actually uh, Ranker would be kind of annoying here too. Heal six. I mean, you would leave me with four damage armor, output though. All right. It's Gyre Worm here. I hate all these stupid dunk tanks though, man. Oh, bear off afterwards. Oh, he is totally setting up for a ranker. Okay. <laughs> that is a two turn ranker setup if I have ever seen one. I think I just go face and then gyre worm the bear off. It takes one, which is fine, but I net all the damage. Like, like trying to preserve the minions is stupid because bear off is going to die anyway, right? So, like, we might as well kill it. Uh, oh, I guess in that case, I'm actually better off trading a 2-1 in. So I net the three face and it doesn't make a difference on board anyway. And this stays at a full health total. Okay, yeah, that's better. I lose one by not buffing this thing, but that doesn't matter because it's going to die as soon as I play the minion anyway. Oh, would I rather net one extra damage and have the Gyre Worm take one extra damage? Because that is also another line. Yes, I would rather the Gyre Worm take one damage and net one damage. So this is the maximum damage output that I can net here. Yeah. I certainly don't care if the gyro takes the damage, especially if I get healing totem. Yeah, okay, <laughs> it's even better. But I, I netted one extra that way, which you never know, right? That could make all the difference. Uh, if he is gonna go ranker here, it's, you know, it's fine, but it's certainly not as exciting as it would have been. Maybe it wasn't a ranker, but like I said, the bear off was gonna clear anyway, so. Why protect minions that are going to die regardless? For two damage, you could theoretically do that. But if he nets 45 million off the ranker, I think you end up regretting it. So, Develop a fatty. Put them in uh, lethal range here soon. Dunk tanks are like enough. We have enough damage in hand right now. It's just mana cost is a little bit uh, tight. Deal eight this turn. Probably rather develop any sort of minion if I can. All right, where are they gonna spend this mana? Oh, another fatty to develop. I love it, okay. Not gonna play a small minion. I don't think it does anything. We set up for lethal anyway next turn. Well, I guess that doesn't set up against hero power. But it just gives him a card draw and maybe a ranker play as well. So I, I just don't see the reason to play this dude. Oh, okay, bulwark. All right, that's gross. That's actually really annoying. We thought that he might have had it, but uh, now we know for certain. Yeah, let's just start doing it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, shoot. I was going to play this on nine, but I forgot about the overload on the Serpent Shrine. Ah, oh, man, I got to wait a turn. Probably fine to go by with a Fireheart anyway, so. So yeah, we need to chip through four more hits. Uh, 
Two twos might be good at that, but they also just farm ranker if he plays any minions. So I don't know. This could get this could get hairy for sure. Stuff like Alakir, Wackanol would be nice. You know, anything that blades. Oh. Okay, I see it. I got gotcha. you. There anything that gets to attack? That makes sense to me. This is probably the oh Alakir is actually nuts. It's two charges. That's awesome. Okay, and a threat of course. Do do do. Two to go. What works so good sometimes. I can take the hit. It just totally slows you down sometimes. Mm, is this lethal? No, because he's 16 now. Definitely not. Do we just develop a scrapyard here? I think so. It, it's pretty annoying for a warrior to deal with. It may be negated to some extent by the, the last bulwark charge, but I, I could just throw a lightning bolt in, right? And then I get to hit for seven, so I think it would be okay. Hopefully it sticks, you know, or demands a ton of removal that's awkward. This looks like a ranker to me. Yeah. Okay. Blade Storm too. Wow, that's good. All right. This is a uh, Fireheart turn. They're back to 23. 24. Serpent Shrine would be a good finish if the if the Fireheart doesn't find stuff to do it instead. Wow, I don't really want these. Uh, let's go Serpent Shrine to finish off that last charge. It still develops as well, which is nice. Oh man, that would be really sick. Uh, do I take the Revolve? I think just because I get another spell, yes. I, I don't think the minions are actually going to get much better on average, but I think I just get another spell, which is always really nice. Stormstrike being more damage seems good. Oh, that's fun. Oh my god, I got another Morshawn watch post. <laughs> that's funny. This doesn't draw anything, does it? No, of course not. No more locks for me. Mage Hunter is kind of cool if they like try to play a taunt or something. This could really get in the way. Five mana on a cutting class. That's cool. I did net way less damage here than I had before. Rokara wasn't really going to buff a single turn armor, round, armor. but, you know, Rokara was still a 2-3, but I had a 2-3, a 2-3, and a 3-3, so this can't attack, right? So I lost, I guess I lost only one damage, or, well, four damage, the 3-3 and the 2-3 here. Um, This feels like it should be lethal, but I don't know yet. Probably not, actually. It's quite a bit of stuff going down here. Let's see. He's still at uh, 23. Yeah, we're not there yet. I think we'll go ahead and just clear this. Go face a little here. Should have played this first, I guess. But all good. I don't. Oh my god, why do I keep getting those insane dudes? Okay. Clearly, we're playing a bit into removal here. I'm just going to wait a turn. Um, maybe even Totaming is not worth it. Oh, Raid Leader. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't portal, but it might have been worth trying, actually. Yeah. Just for that, honestly, it might have been worth trying. Oh, is that all that's getting played? Rokara, frankly, would have been good, too. Yeah. I don't even like Totaming, so maybe, maybe portal is worth it. My thought was I don't want to put another decent minion into removal because Serpent Shrine's a, a solid reload minion. So throwing a totem in doesn't hurt, but... Both reasonable, uh... Oh no, the corrupted dunk tanks heal the crash. How much do I have? Six? Plus five? Eleven? Plus five is sixteen. Oh, I do have the mage hunter. Oh my god, yes. Yes, I have mage hunter. Is that lethal then? Probably, right? Oh my god, I give up two to net a bunch, so it's gotta be. Either way, I gotta do this. If it's not lethal, I'm still for sure doing that. So let's see now. Four, six, eight, plus eight is 16, plus 16 plus three is 19. We're still not quite there. I can't get a Serpent Shrine in with it. Let's see if we get like a Raid Leader. No, but that is a cool minion. Kind of going to go half C's here. All 
All right. This is risky, though, because all he has to do now is hero power and clear, and I just don't have it, you know? Like, I may be better off spending mana on a minion, but also it's like, well, that doesn't do anything because it just still plays into removal. The one time non-corrupted dunk tanks would have been better. I think it was just lethal if we had non-corrupted dunk tanks, right? He doesn't have removal. Well, he didn't last turn, but but things change, right? So I didn't play an elemental. I don't have mana for scrapyard. So I kind of strand my hand here if these minions don't stick. Of course, there's tons of great draws. Uh, lightning bolts, whack and oles those sorts of things can can still open it up. Sour Fang. That's a heal for uh that's a heal for eight, guys. One downside to the silence play. I think we still got it, but. Woo! Okay. Six, eight, nine, plus four. Oh. We actually didn't have it and we especially don't now. We have eleven and he's at fourteen. <laughs> Stupid game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this game, man. If he plays Nazoth, is there like a taunt or anything? No. Nazoth would be annoying, but not not actually game ending. Okay. okay. I I couldn't really. I, I didn't have board space. We would have had to like lightning bolt one of our own minions. Because I, I couldn't trade in either. Remember, it was alone on board, so. I would have had to trade in, which would have proc the frenzy, or like lightning bolted one of my own minions uh, to to frog it, right? So I would have had to give up three to potentially, maybe in the future, save eight, which would be a net five advantage. But you also don't know there's a sour fang at that stage, right? So would have been really hard to to say. Oh yeah, okay. Silence and then turn into a frog. Oh, I don't like that because then you lose your frog. I don't think that's worth like the frog can still net you value later. Did he win the freaking brawl? I have had so many lost brawls lately. I can't win a brawl. I am getting sick of brawls, man. Oh, and he hero powered. So now I'm a little off again. Oh my God. We're going to end up losing this game. Like, this is insane. I, if you watch my latest video, I know because I edited it this morning, I, I lost a 1-7 in seven and a 1-5 in five brawl recently against Warrior, and that was another, like, what, 2-7? I <sighs> cannot get there. Also, this video will not go to high res. What is YouTube doing? It's mind-boggling, YouTube. I'm getting really tilted right now. Oh, you're right, yeah, because I could have buffed a minion. Well, I guess it was the can attack minion, but... Any other mini winning the brawl would have been game over. Oh no, God! Oh my God. Oh, I have the hex though. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did play an elemental. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Okay. We're all right. We're all right. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but we're okay. We're okay. Actually, lightning bolt here is another lethal out. No longer a prince. Just wait though. Oh my god. You're right, if I had to brawl any minion, any other minion than the than the can attack guy winning the brawl would have been lethal. I'm gonna need fatigue to win this game at this rate, man. <laughs> like, what the heck, man? Ugh. So he's at 11, I need like, either of the two good minions here to stick. Would be fine. Must burn them all. I need to get his whack and all going because I might draw another one, but I just, you know. So far, I think every other play has been better. Arguably, developing this 2-5 wasn't better, but I wanted to get through the taunt with Rush, right? I don't want to have to use something that can go phase to hit that taunt, so I, I think it made sense, but we'll see. What is in their hand, by the way, that they aren't playing? Like a Shield Slam, maybe? Outrider's Axe, sure. Uh, hit, hit the 1-1, one, one, please, so I can buff this. Please? Yes? 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 Don't clear this. Don't hit Kargath Prime. I gotta win before Kar. Oh, God! I need Lightning Bolt. It's still not lethal now, though. My fire okay, I can't play minions anymore because of Kargath Prime. I just have to win off weapon attacks. I'm only netting one per turn, unfortunately, but I can eventually hit a. Oh, my God. This guy is literally the luckiest player in the universe, dude. 
Is this lethal? No, because he just healed 17. Like, why couldn't I have got this last turn? Why couldn't I have got this last turn? I need Lily Pad Lurker. But Kargath Prime's gonna beat me now, is the problem. So even if I get a Lily Pad Lurker, I'm still gonna have to deal another 10. It's gonna clear my. It's gonna clear my 5 6, so I'd rather buff this, right? Oh, it's not active. Oh my god, I gotta play this then. It's not even active. I didn't even realize it wasn't even active. <laughs> That's fine though, really. It doesn't really change much. The 8-8's not actually the threat. The Kargath Prime is the threat, so the 8-8's kind of irrelevant. I, I actually need to hex the Kargath Prime, probably. I mean, it hits a minion, which sucks, but... Yeah, there's the Kargath Prime. You can hex it. There's an 8-8 chillin'. He's a 24. Kindling's pretty useless. It's actually a great roll because I can kill the frog now. So we think there's one more brawl, which he'll win because he's a god. And then I'm playing for fatigue and gyre worm outs. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did play an element all this turn, of course. There's a brawl. There's a ranker. There's a shield maiden, maybe. Oh, the ranker's actually pretty gross, isn't it? Because it clears that taunt, taunt totem. That's gross, too. I'm gonna maybe have to kill this Alexstrasza or I'm just dead, huh? That's fine, though, if I can win via fatigue, because he's got a brawl? What, a Nazoth still? Oh, I can't beat Nazoth. He's definitely running Nazoth, right? Yeah, I can't beat Nazoth. I think I lose because of Nazoth. Well, I gotta clear the Alex. That's not up for debate, because I'm dead if I don't, so. Yeah, I don't think I can do it, right? Uh, I'm gonna force the brawl this turn if I can so that the Wailing Vapor can stick. But I think Nazoth just ends the game here. I think this is Nazoth right here. Maybe a Shield Maiden. But Nazoth, it's got like Crash, it's got Alex, it's got a million things. I can take the oh, hit. not playing Nazoth. Wouldn't you have played Nazoth if that was the Nazoth? Maybe he doesn't have Nazoth? Why wouldn't you play it that turn? You'd like always play it there, right? Okay, drawing an extra card's a lot of damage here. He thinks he's protecting the 5-5, five five, so it makes sense. I think it's a good play. Just... Thankfully for us in this instance, it does not matter. I think we're still gonna get a brawl. So I don't ever want to commit too many minions. I need enough that I can win before I die to fatigue too, though, because I can also die to fatigue here still. <laughs> Ooze. That last card is probably brawl number two, right? It's the OTK boy. Oh, you're right. It might be the OTK boy. Oh, yeah, he's got Silas. Well, maybe we should hedge just in case, because I don't think I need to develop, right? He's taking four. That puts him at 12. He heals to 14. Ideal five. That puts him at nine. No, I actually might need to develop. It is it is probably almost certainly Ashtung. Yeah. This is a little bit risky if it's second brawl, but, but I don't think he's running Silas without Ashtung. <laughs> And he's just running a one-off brawl. I mean, one-off brawl kind of makes sense. I don't have all day though, right? Oh my God. That's the greatest Hearthstone victory I've ever had. Yeah, this is actually good. Good one, two, three. Arid Storm is pretty good at shutting down tempo as well, uh, or tokens, I mean, as well. So actually probably one of the better options. I think I still dodge the Wailing Vapor here and go for the Stormer on two. Feels kind of bad, but... Uh, Stormer's just really, really good, so. Really, really good. That was one of the craziest Hearthstone games I've ever played. <laughs> Another one of those just don't give up games, you know? Like, just play it out, man. It's, you know, to be truthful, 
fr from a pure you know ranking up standpoint it might have been better to like concede five minutes in and uh play three other games <laughs> and win two of them right or something even if you're expecting not a perfect uh win rate you might have squeezed in two or three other games but it's it's totally worth it for the sake of content and and entertainment no doubt no question so this might really really hamstring their ability to make plays just because they want to develop token boards and this guy just like eats tutus and eats dribblings and stuff uh Definitely do like getting minions out against uh, Druid. So I think we go ahead and do this and get a totem as well. Totem could uh, could buff. I know that you could do this the other way and buff this guy to two, but so could a totem, and this just fills the curve this turn as opposed to next turn. May regret that if I draw, like, you know, a lily pad lurker or something, but I'm more likely to get something small anyway, so... I like getting the totem in basically is the story of that the moral of that story one ones are good the attack buff totem is good unfortunately we got one that's probably not quite as good although not bad if the arid stormer is going to start taking trades oh this is uh not a token druid which is also fine we'll just hit them really hard it's not bad it's a three four We might have a uh, Cleavy boy come down, but that's not great against Arid Stormer. You usually have to use the other guy that killed the Arid Stormer. But they would also need, you know, Innervate or Lightning Bloom to get a Guardian Animals right now. It would be pretty detrimental, though. I would have trouble overcoming that. That's kind of annoying, too, I guess. Oh, my God. What is happening? Double Lightning Bloom coin, Innervate, Guardian Animals? No way. Oh, Scenarian Ward. Okay, that's... Also, really horrifying. <laughs> In both cases, that's awful. Um, man, this this sucks. <laughs> I don't really want this. Uh, we're just gonna wait. They're obviously not gonna have much of a turn, so I might be able to like fire heart my way through this Tyrion. It's gonna be at four next turn. So worst case, maybe I could trade like a Terran and a 1-2 in. I mean, I guess they can hero power, but that's probably not going to open up much. They're also back to 29, which sucks, but maybe I have to wait on the Fireheart here since we can kind of clear this anyway. Especially with Dunk Tank, yeah. Yeah, we'll just wait. Oh, that's kind of cool. The 2-5 dies here. To the weapon. Sonarian Ward, uh, th I have never seen Thick Hide Koto in any list, but I think this probably points more towards like one of those uh, kind of Maligosi lists that we've seen. Maybe less towards clowns and stuff, but I don't, I don't really know to be honest. It's kind of just weird all around. Can I deal 17? Probably not, right? I have six eight nine this is ten i don't see how would would like to clear this though i think it's it's pretty important to clear uh yeah let's take guidance a lot more choices uh we don't need the death match pavilion so let's take the lightning bolt uh revolve is kind of intriguing but it makes our minions worse in most cases so i think i just take the title surge here to clear that guy out no. no, I was gonna say no great math, but we do. The tutu is actually active, so that's nice. Um, what do you guys think here? Do I just go for raw damage over the top? Probably just raw damage over the top. There's some argument I thought to uh, hex in case they play like you know a, a gross annoying minion or something, but I think damage sort of serves the same purpose in many cases. A little worse, perhaps, against, like, Scenarian Ward, exactly where they heal and have a scary threat, but... Lightning Storm was even sort of intriguing, I thought, thanks to, like, clowns, but then this, again, kind of solves the problem, because if they're clowning, we might just be able to go over the top. I don't currently have it, but, you know, can find it sometimes off of the top or whatever. And, indeed, they trade, so we have it now. Perfect. Cool, cool. 
wonder if it was right to trade there. Uh, you know, it's certainly sensible because you're removing something that can get buffed. You know, you're, you're giving me less total math to operate in. But you also do risk, you know, the over-the-top damage where I just get to ignore your taunts. So there's some ups and downs there, I suppose. Okay, yeah, we can work with this mulligan. Coin Wackanal might be worth it, honestly, if if uh, we're desperate. Or Coin Primal Dungeoneer might might feel even better, honestly. Just get more minions out. Kind of depends on what we're looking at. Death Row Team Hunter in particular can be kind of gross because you don't always want to kill their minions. So sometimes just developing more and ignoring their minion feels better. Also, Cage Match on Curve feels pretty good. Save the coin for later. Okay, uh, sure. I beam already. I mean, this is kind of pointing towards OCK Demon Hunter, right? Which I haven't played against hardly at all. You don't you don't see this one much outside of Legend. Nobody. Oh, maybe not. It could still be that hybrid list, but man, I have not seen I beam and Razor Board together in a while. I think there's that hybrid Death Rattle OCK list though, so it's probably that if I had to guess. Um, I think there's a. Decent chance the Wackanal here is kind of worth hitting the minion then because I think they have a little bit less consistency of early game cards and they would have played one sooner probably if they had it. Uh, so scratch that. <laughs> uh, never mind. They had one. Uh, that's pretty frustrating considering YouTube is a primary source of income and things like this can happen. Yep. <laughs> you are always victim to uh, anything that goes wrong in any of these systems. Yeah, you don't have a lot of control over it, unfortunately. We are uh, always at the whim of our platforms as creators. Uh, normally, I, I, like I said, I, I, I thought for sure it was done when I published because I, I almost never publish a video that hasn't finished processing, but... I don't know if I could have waited this long anyway. I had to get the video out today in the midday and it's somehow taken magically three hours when it normally takes 10 minutes or whatever. So I may have been kind of screwed either way. All right, we're gonna buff this one because the primal dungeoneer is the more like well they're both equally likely targets now but if i'd made this a three four right then uh it still would have died to the fell rattler because of the the death rattle and then i would have had a, a one one on board instead of a two two right so splitting the stats essentially is shoring up this board a little more so than than not splitting the stats in this case uh, so now he may hit the elemental or whatever of course doesn't matter but i'm left with a two two regardless or Demand an eye beam, sure. That as well. This is a really good arid stormer. He's gonna go face. Interesting. Okay. I think I still hit here then and just arid stormer through this. Um It's really good with whack and all here, right? So <laughs> let's see. Putting this to Five plays around another fell rattler. Yeah, I'm gonna do this kind of the, the weird way where I lose damage but further cement the health on this minion. Uh, I think it's pretty valuable to keep alive, and this makes it much, much harder to deal with across a couple breakpoints, probably. Oh, God. I had a solid opener, and then skull on six is just gonna cripple my chances to, to advance here, I think. We are putting together a lot of damage output, though, particularly because of this guy, so maybe this is just enough. Two really big minions as well now. I mean, that must be combo pieces, right? Or something. They just didn't do anything off their skull. Maybe it was like a Blackthorn or something. Second skull. Okay. Sure. Just eight, 11 in hand, but no mana yet for that. I can play eight from hand. If they don't resolve this board, I definitely just have it. Also, a weapon here could, could be kind of nuts too. Skull number three incoming <laughs> uh plan to handle inquisitors the plan to handle inquisitors is that i i don't think they have any i think this is a hybrid otk list but also um ignore them is the plan <laughs> kill them before they hit me 
That's always the plan. I grow impatient. Okay. Not lifesteal, so... I think we're good, right? No mana left unless something's zero from Skull. Could be like an I-beam to set up a trade, maybe. That's just another Moarg, it looks like. Oh, Cream to protect here. That's still not going to be enough, but it's pretty cool. There's an eight plus eight, right? So we're, we're good. Yeah, setting this up to be the hard carry worked out really, really nicely for us. Cool. Good win. Back under 2,500. Where'd we start today? 27, but we finished yesterday at like 23, right? Or not yesterday, I didn't stream yesterday. That's the problem is I can't stream enough. Is it worth it to grind in Legends? Uh, I mean, no, it's never worth it. You don't really get anything out of it, right? There's no, there's no reward unless you're qualifying for a master store or something. There's no, there's no advantage to Legend. Just for fun. See how high you can get, so the only reason. Ooh, is Elemental Arid on two better than Wailing? Yeah, five health that early against Priest is actually fairly awkward. This could be a big damage chunker boy again. Yeah, let's do that. This guy, you know, just kind of gets stranded sometimes, I feel like. But when you hit this nut opener, you just can't give it up. Hey, thanks, Bio Snipes, man. Yeah, it's been pretty fun, honestly. I, you know, I, I, I've kind of been in this really privileged, lucky position where I, I have fun playing standard Hearthstone. <laughs> Most people don't seem to have that much fun. I don't ever, I, you know, everybody's always complaining about the metas and stuff. Like, like I very rarely, if ever, get frustrated by the meta. I don't think Priest has been that big of an issue, personally. Like, I, the, obviously it is because a ton of people are complaining about it. Like, I want to acknowledge that. But for me, I, I don't get that annoyed by Priest usually. I always actually find like it's easier to win than I expect lately this last week or two it's always been like oh yeah okay that went smoother than I thought thought they were gonna own us and we kind of you know pulled it turn it around or whatever so oh man I wish I could kill that that's gonna be really sad there's no one mana elemental that that changes my fate here right like I don't play Nimbus first ever this thing's even like I, I I don't preemptively hit here, right? Because he could just heal it. I mean, it wouldn't be super sad if he healed it. Uh, I could just hit after, though. No, it's fine. I mean, obviously, you could trade and heal it again as well, but I can figure that out later. It's fine. Not thrilled about our hand, though. Just, you know, stuff. Nothing nothing really advancing the game plan here. Just stuff. I can't close the prediction due to voting on it, and other mods seem to be FK. Can you close it as a win? Yes, of course, yeah. Choose outcome. Will read us win. Yes. Done. Thanks for the heads up. No worries, man. <laughs> Happy to help in those instances. It's hard to keep up with them starting them and stuff, but fixing stuff like that is no problem. Really good turn. Like, really good. Uh, man, you feel like you got to kill the Sethic, but unless I exactly lightning bolt off this, this is not going to kill the Sethic this turn anyway. Or, I mean, if it does, I leave up the Scorpion. Yeah, I will just risk it. Whatever. Apotheosis is not even that bad, really, at this stage. You know, it'd be bad. Obviously, I don't want to see an apotheosis, but maybe they just don't have a lot of support for this card right now. Or if they do, it's, like, awkward, you know? But at least the apotheosis in and of itself doesn't clear the amount, the uh, Circus Amalgam. So that, that, that I think, is okay. Holy Smite, on the other hand, is really, really, really unfortunate roll for us. Ugh, oh, that's so gross. Man, that's gross. I love the Gyro Worm, though. That's nice. The calm before the storm. Oh. Cool. I don't know if they got to read that that's another Gyro Worm here. Maybe I shouldn't have played the new one. It's, like, more tilting, but I kind of technically targeted twice. So if they were paying very close attention, they might have realized that was two distinct guards there. Who knows? Oh, slightly out of range of the fire alley. Man, also a Sethic and a Scorpid in hand. That's pretty nasty. I guess this fire alley goes face, but 
I think I'm about to take back what I said about priest, guys. <laughs> I think I'm changing my tune, man. I think I hate priest. Priest is the worst. Ugh. Man. Renew on that too? Boy, oh boy. So I can dunk tank this, but it doesn't clear the Sethic again. I need a Serpent Shrine that goes face into spell damage to clear uh, clear the Sethic here without committing my Gyre Worm. This feels so bad. Uh, is there ever a world where I leave the Sethic up to net more face damage? I, I don't think I can, right? Okay, so one natural but but one generated Apotheosis, unfortunately. Man, that Sethic hit them the nuts didn't it dude that holy smite was perfect and a second apotheosis is actually insane as well where are the garbage set the cards man why aren't you getting like rallies or something actually rally wouldn't even be that bad <laughs> with sethic maybe it's pretty bad though i wonder sethic and venomous maybe not that bad <laughs> when did i decide to play shaman over death Rosie hunter uh, i just wanted to mix it up i don't want to play the same deck the whole time I, like i think i would probably be climbing slightly faster but frankly we've been doing pretty well with this deck too when oh, actually, we've been doing really well with this deck. We're at 81%. We're 13 and 3. I've barely lost. I lost two in a row earlier, so I thought that was indicative of us having a bad rank. But uh, yeah, we're north of 81% specifically in Legend here with this deck. So it's actually going pretty well, I guess. Little did I know. We just, like, cannot really deal with this stuff. I, I, I guess I'll hex that 5-5, five five, but... There are some scary targets that might be better to hex later, but I don't think I have a choice. I need to win the board, basically, and the 5-5 five five makes that a little bit too hard. So, like, I need this 5-6 to maybe connect face, for instance. Soul Mirror here would give a clear on the 5-6, but it wouldn't be that bad. I, I could live with a Soul Mirror, maybe. It's a big mana commitment, at least. Yeah, I didn't realize we were winning so hard with this so consistently. 81% is great. For me, anyway, I mean, I think generally speaking, but I'm very happy with a brand new deck to go 81% so far in Legend. And we've, we, like, we made a major mistake earlier today learning some stuff, and like, we're getting better still, too. I think we'll continue to play better opponents, but we are uh, still learning this deck for sure. Still gaining mastery for sure. I'm a way to try out the Demon Hunter deck in your video. Try to climb from Diamond 10. Well, good luck, man. Oh, Shadow of Death. God. I'm starting to hate Priest, guys. I take it back. Priest is the worst. I lied about Priest. They're actually the worst. I totally hate Priest now. It's five mana. It lets me clear the Scorpid, but it just feels so bad. I guess I could Dunk Tank, too, to clear the Scorpid. Yeah, okay. We're kind of committing a lot here, but I have the uh, the Fireheart, right? So I'm I'm thinking it's okay. I'm gonna clear because the stupid third apotheosis. Uh, you know, leaving minions aboard against priests is so risky, man. They're at 19 though. I've got a board. It's actually fairly resilient against like Soul Mirror. It's decent against Condemn. Maybe two Condemns would be bad. Next turn Condemn would be much better to clear the two three, but it's not so bad. Now condemns a little cleaner, but still I leave a minion up. Got a fireheart turn next turn to maybe redevelop or find some damage. Oh no, that's actually so good. I really needed fireheart. Oh, that's so good, dude. I think that's game. I think that's just game. Turn up the heat. So good, man. I'll try, right? We'll try, but that just that stole basically five or six cards, right? Like getting a guidance off of Fireheart, getting a whatever else, you know. I think it was right to hold it, or you know, I don't think we play around mutinous there specifically, but it still feels really bad. Naturally, hit this, just hit this right away. Oh my god. At least it left my taunt alive. Okay, I hate priest. Yeah, I'm on board. <laughs> I joined the I joined the team. I'm uh I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. I totally hate priest. Uh is there any way for me to get out of this mess? I don't think so. We'll take one more turn, then we'll probably concede. 
I think the mutants just killed us. Watch your video on duels, read just good analysis. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate that. The path is clear for the worthy. I am indeed uh, happy with that video. It was really hard to make, but... Whoops. Miss Lethal. Hard to make. I was like just, you know, taking notes, trying to think about everything I wanted to say. It was a lot to get down, man. I really, I, I just, I think duels is like, oh, it could be so awesome. I think it could be my absolute favorite game mode for sure. I think it's really, I wouldn't say it's close to being my favorite game mode because I think there's a lot of problems, but I think they're solvable, you know, and it's, it's within reach anyway. Uh, okay. Priest again. Great. Yeah, this is a good opener at least. Really high pressure opener, which is nice. Oh, today's a rest day. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. I didn't miss the Tour de France today. Scratch that. Anyway, Wailing Vapor on one is certainly perfect. Kinda don't need two whack and holes. I'm a little sad to see the whack and hole. Also, Earth Revenant's really not the kind of high pressure thing we're looking for against Priest, I don't think. Uh would vastly prefer some other options. Gotta hit the minion, unfortunately. That's a priest thing, man. That's a priest thing. Wish the XP gains for duels and standard were the same. I'm not sure why they're so different. I'm not either. I didn't even realize they were that different. That that's unfortunate, yeah. Another downside. Uh, they shot duels in the foot. Yeah, that's exactly what I talk about in the video. How it uh, it feels like that. Yeah. All right, we need to keep this. This is gonna get worse, right? Because the elemental chain. So I like weapon here in a lot of ways because it's better against. Oh well, condemn's not a problem yet. I guess. Never mind. Holy Nova, I guess, would be a problem. But is that even in rotation? I'm pretty sure I saw Holy Nova recently. I think it is. <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but I think so. I think it might be. Do we go Revenant here just to... Uh, oh, okay. That might change things a little bit. Holy Smite on the worst minion because the buff upside makes sense. Renew already. Boy, oh boy. No, I actually like whack an old Kindling here. Pushes a little more heat. Gets through these weapons, right? Because I got two in hand, so... Let's just push. 19. Oh, boy. Okay, that's actually the best roll for me. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think I gotta just ignore this, right? And go face. We're getting pretty close to getting a lethal push. I don't have lethal now, do I? Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. I'm really close. Okay, hopefully this turn, we have seven mana next turn. Hopefully they can't heal out of range of both of these, right? They have to clear the board and heal out of range. It seems really hard. Why was their mutinous so cheap, by the way? What, uh, what, what discounted it? Oh, inside, okay. Oh, crap. Oh, they can't use, they can use the Serpent Shrine, but they can't use the other thing. So that's good. Uh, that means they can clear two minions, but leave me with six damage on board. No way! Oh my god! That is actually so insane, dude. They're gonna play a light shower elemental next turn. But it doesn't matter, because I still have a dunk tank, right? It just doesn't matter. I just win, right? Hmm. Well, no, they could have they could have an apotheosis off the top. Uh, I don't care if they play Light Shower. I don't care if they play Onyx. Um, I can also just get lethal here if I get the perfect roll, which I do not. Uh, let's give them and me a Menacing Nimbus. I don't need an Alec here. Heat up. Um... Doesn't really matter what I develop here, does it? It's really just whether or not they draw Apotheosis is the only... Is there any cheap elemental that punishes this play? I don't know, it just puts more damage in play for me, so... No, that's fine. They can burn getting all they want. I don't care about that. All right. 
Um, we just have to get Apotheosis, right? That that's did they did they top deck Apotheosis? Light Shower we don't care about because we just dunk tank over the top. Um, Mage Scribe we don't care about. Scorpid into Apotheosis. Oh my god, I'm I'm actually gonna hate Priest if they hit this. That Fell Rattler already saved them the game. Okay, that's not an Apotheosis. That doesn't matter. Nothing here matters, right? Oh, I do need one attack to go through. But they don't have a taunt, so yeah, it's fine. As, as soon as they played other stuff, they don't have the taunt, so we're good. Woo! Oh my god, that Fell Rattler, dude. That Fell Rattler about triggered me like crazy. Oh my god, the, the four damage Rushman, dude, is so unlikely for three mana, right? Like, it's really hard to get something to just four. Okay, duh. Do we ever keep Dunk Tank against Druid? We've had moments where it really paid off, but I don't know that I'm gonna have the corrupts in hand, and I want to make sure I hit early tempo still. So I don't, I don't think this is the right hand to keep it. There would have been a corrupt, but was that in the same spot? Maybe even slightly better early game. Fireheart can also find me removal tools, which is nice, like a lightning storm or something. If it's, if it's token Druid, so I could definitely make a big difference. Give me the one drop. Come on, Wailing Vapor. Wailing Vapor. No one, Wailing vapor. Outruns the winds no one outruns the winds of war. No one drop. Even with my little dance. Do do do. <laughs> Patagon, that's a funny joke. I asked my German friend if he knew the square root of 81. He said no. <laughs> that's good, dude. That is great. The opponent could have just coin corrupted Dunk Tank though. He missed playing and got lucky. No, he didn't have mana to coin Dunk Tank. He as soon as oh oh you're right in front of the Serpent Shrine. Oh maybe you're right actually. Um, you might be right. Did he miss an opportunity there? The priest played the Fell Rattler. He did coin at the end, and so he definitely had four mana. So he could have played. He could have played the the dunk tank. Would that have done a better job clearing? Well, yeah, he could have cleared the five four and the one two. You're right. They might have actually thrown. Now that you say that, huh? Winding that back, uh, and they would have removed four damage from me, so I would have only had the serpent shrine. I mean, I saw the weapon, I guess. So we would have still had lethal on the pass back, but huh? Oh no, because they could have played a taunt on the pass back and the serpent shrine or the weapon would have been denied. I think they might've thrown. Hmm. Was it corrupted? Oh, maybe it wasn't corrupted. In that case, the one one would have lived. And I think the math would have stayed the same because I could have attacked to put them to three. Then if they played the taunt, the serpent shrine would have been lethal. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to re-review. I don't know. Lunar eclipse is not bad. Did use some valuable stuff. Is that Lunar gonna discount anything or are they just losing that? They're just losing that mana. Okay. Well, that's probably good news at least. Some flexibility next turn. Lily pad or Fire Ellie. I mean, I think this is a Fire Ellie usually, but we may want to hold coin for in Fireheart turn or something. Did I hero power value with the weapon attack? Doubt that matters, but you never know. Uh, if they go for like a Glowfly Swarm here, do I go for Fireheart already? Oh, just Arbor Up. Okay. Naked Arbor Up with a 1-1 uh, here. All right. It's a pretty good Fire Ellie target, actually, yeah. I want the one three getting buffed. Um, oh, I'm going to take four. Uh, let's just see which gets buffed. It doesn't matter. I do, I do want one of the attackers getting buffed, though. In this case, I think we actually do it this way. More health on the guy that scales, right? Like, it's the same amount of damage face right now. This is susceptible to hero power now, but who cares? If you hero power, I'm going to win anyway, so please do. No one outruns the winds of war. The winds of war. Lightning bloom into what? Lightning bloom, Mally goes? <laughs> I love it. He's BMing. He's he's just conceding. I love it. That's funny. Good job, Debs. You're a bro. You're a bro, Debs. 
Thank you, Debs. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want more early game than what I have here. I like this because it's just a lot of stuff. Oh boy, that just went from bad to bad. <laughs> it's not worse, but it's not any better. Uh, Nimbus is okay. This matchup makes me really nervous because we just don't have healing, right? Like, I, I loved playing against Hunter with our Demon Hunter list because we had all that healing. And uh, actually, you know what? Let's get both of these in. We have the three drop anyway. The very minimal tempo difference here might mean a lot, actually. Ooh, baby, that's a three drop too. Okay. That's really good. Oh, why is it always the Scorpid, man? Guess you hit here then, force it in. I could trade back, develop a Stormer that's hopefully alive. Oh, you choose to hit here, huh? I wonder why, what's the difference? Hmm. I don't know. Guess you save one if you think I'm trading back, maybe that's the difference, but you just risk like me clearing that with a lightning bolt or a whack and or whatever, and then just hitting you for more. I don't know, that, that feels a little, a little out of whack to me. Oh my, big hits coming in here. They actually lost a little bit of net healing too, which is fine. Not, not like they had a choice or anything, just kind of cool for us. Piercing shot, quick shot, Warsong Wrangler. Oh my goodness, so gonna clear again, take another three off this, that goes to one, it's fine. We got a trampling idiot here incoming. Gotta think about how I wanna handle the trampling idiot. Am I going face or trading? I think I'm just going face maybe, right? Flames on the side of my face. <laughs> Uh, this weapon with, with Rhino is always very scary. Um, By fire, be purged. feel like we're in trouble here. Nimbus is actually really good. Nice little buff. Fills the curve very nicely. I think Rhino hits here. Rhino hits here again. It's at one health. Oh, just Teacher's Pet. Okay, I don't know. Uh, who knows anymore? Nothing is, nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> I'm now clueless. Uh, yeah, let's develop the Fire Ellie. You know, it's a little less clean, say, than a Serpent Shrine here, but I don't really have a follow up for the Serpent Shrine, and this is still pretty tidy, so. We pretty much always hit face here, don't we? Take shelter. Mm. Eight. 11, 14. So I kind of can kill this and still have lethals over the next couple turns, right? So I might as well. Otherwise, he might have slightly better trades on it in the future. This is not what we stood okay, Talon. Broom. Talon Broom. Oh, interesting. Fun. Gyreworm Divine Rager. What is going to come off this, you think? An Azoth, probably? We'll end the game before Nazoth is a concern, so that should be okay. We'll just have it next turn right here, right? Oh, actually, only if a minion hits. I have 10 here. Yeah, that's a little harrowing, but it's still two turns from Nazoth, so should be fine. They got to clear minions, too. Surely that is not good enough, right? It doesn't beat... Explosive. Oh, uh, now it beats. Now explosive's pretty good. Okay. A pretty clutch explosive trap, I bet. Yeah, wow. What a baller. We should probably develop a minion. Is there any downside to that? Uh. Maybe we put the taunt in and the serpent shrine. Uh, I will overload one, so I'd only have enough to dunk tank twice. I wouldn't be able to lightning bolt. Maybe a lightning bolt as well, but then I'm overloaded even more. I think we just chill. 
Oh, that's fun. That's cool. Uh, the taunt just, you know, it, it, it disrupts the weapon attack, essentially, like... Ooh, I actually got bailed out here a little bit because these are corrupted. I don't know how this works. If, if he had gotten the, uh... If he'd gotten the idiot, would I have, uh... He would have died and then healed and still been dead, right? I think we've done that before, where the death rattle goes off after he's dead, so the quill bore doesn't heal him, right? 